Hi, I'm Bryce Leader. Uh, welcome to another one of my video logs. Today I'll be talking about uh, music as a language from um, a guitarist point of view. So, is music a language? Well, music evokes memories and emotions and can soothe the savage beast. The signs and symbols that written music uses are universally understood by musicians, no matter what their native uh, language. Musicians that can't read music know its conventions, patterns, and can communicate with other musicians in other ways, and can use their oral ability to anticipate chord changes. But is music a language? Well, what's a language? One dictionary definition describes language as a system of vocal sounds by which a group of people can communicate. The graphic representation of language is any system of signs, gestures, symbols, etc. used as a means of communication. So, written music as a graphic representation communicates to the musician a set of instructions as to, whether, uh, as to what to play and when. It's very effective at doing this, but uh, as a language, it exists only for the benefit of musicians who wish to recreate music. As a language in the general sense of the word, it's quite limited. You could possibly take a shopping list made of music notation to the greengrocer and order an egg or a cabbage, but what if you needed bread or milk? What about music as an oral medium? What can be communicated by stringing a series of notes together? Some say music communicates uh, emotion. If we're talking about a song, that's a different matter. You understand the words and derive meaning from them. What about instrumental music, music without words? Can instrumental music communicate emotion as effectively as songs? Consider Beethoven's Symphony No. 6, The Pastoral. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up as I was, and I was choked with emotion when I heard this played in a concert hall by a very impressive orchestra. To some, The Pastoral expresses brilliantly a countryside experience. But not everyone's countryside experience is the same. The pastoral is Beethoven's countryside experience from Germany, from Germany and is over 200 years old. I'm not from Germany and I aren't nearly as old as Beethoven and I can't imagine us sharing a remotely similar countryside experience. Even if it was similar, why am I getting emotional about being in the country anyway? Are there memories brought to the surface by hearing this wonderful music? Well, that might be possible for some people, but it's not like me in my case. So why was I getting emotional? Perhaps it was the power of the orchestra, feeling the vibrations and being immersed in beautiful music that surrounded me, and not just from two little speakers in front of me. Perhaps it was sensing the camaraderie of the musicians in the orchestra and their desire to play their best for me. Or maybe it was because I recognised the hundreds of hours of rehearsal and practice time that each musician contributed, and the hundreds if not thousands of years of combined musical experience brought to the orchestra by its members, and I was part of this event. That may be the reason, but if it is, shouldn't I feel similar emotion at other musical events? Upon hearing the pastoral with no prior knowledge and not knowing Beethoven's intent, you could be forgiven and not knowing what it's supposed to represent. It's a very happy and melodic tune. It could be associated with a visit to the countryside, but could it also be used to express something else? Of course it could. The music composed is Beethoven's impression of the countryside. An impression is open to interpretation and is not definitive. So in that sense, as a language, music falls a little short. So what are your thoughts? On music as a language. If you'd like to hear some more of my uh, discussions about music and uh, teaching to young children, uh, please head to my blog at uh, www.copyplayandlearn.com. Thank you. See you soon.